Hi guys, my name is Cash and what you just watched is my Turbo Miata doing a pull and hitting my boost cut in second gear. That's the burp noise that you hear in the higher RPMs of the rev range. A boost cut is a set level of boost at which the engine is cut out to prevent engine or driveline damage. In my case, I have mine set to 10 PSI to prevent myself from making so much power that I burn up my clutch. In this Miata, that would be a whopping 150 wheel torque or so, so really not that much power, but 10 PSI is the level with my setup that I would start to smoke the clutch. Note that the PSI that you'll want to cut at is totally dependent on your car, your setup, and your tune, and what you really want to use boost cut for. This process will be very similar for both Mega Squirt or Speed Wino based standalone ECUs as both use Tuner Studio, but do note that I'm showing you how to do this on a Speedy EFI, a Speed Wino based ECU. The actual process for setting up a boost cut is super simple. All you have to do is go ahead and search for boost cut in the search bar and select it. Now it's as straightforward as selecting boost cut type from the drop down menu. I have mine set to spark cut only, but you could use this or any of the other options depending on what your goals are. Spark cut only shuts off ignition, but still injects fuel. Fuel cut, well, cuts out fuel and both, you guessed it, cuts both spark and fuel. Now you need to set the boost level that you want your engine to cut at. Note that in this case, the pressure that it says in KPA is manifold absolute pressure, meaning that 100 KPA is zero PSI of boost or atmospheric pressure. If you want to figure out what you need to type in for your certain target level of boost in PSI, go ahead and do a little bit of a conversion using good old Google and then add 100 KPA. This will bring your value from gauge pressure, which is the target boost that you want, to absolute pressure, which is gauge pressure plus atmospheric pressure. I'd recommend starting low and working your way up, at least for a newly turboed engine or for your first time using this feature. Go out and drive it, and that way you'll know that it is working. Play it safe with your turbo builds, and this way you won't blow your engine. Boost Cut helps to prevent blowing your engine, and ultimately it could save it, and save you tons of money in the long run for very little work just clicking a few buttons in this software. That's it for this video, don't forget to like it if you found it helpful, comment anything you have to say down below, and subscribe for more. Stay tuned.